MD. So we've been talking about versus battles, potential versus battles. Mm -hmm. And we've thrown around some names. Yep. yep. I wanted to get your opinion on SWV versus in vogue. <laughs> now, what are your thoughts about that? Because they're arguably two of the most popular um, female R&B groups mm. of the 90s. What are your thoughts? Will we, who do you think will come out with the win with that one? Yeah, you know, it's strange because I think, because um, then SWV, you know, they, they slugged it hard against Escape and came out with the W. Um, uh -huh. I think in Vogue, um, they, 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 they started off you know, New Jack, then they went into the sort of the pop sphere, you know, how uh -huh. Tony, Tony Braxton sort of went, started on, sort of started adult contemporary and kind of went into that direction where she probably was selling a lot more records, but not, not necessary to the community as much as, say, Mary was. And I think with In Vogue, I, I, you know, I, 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 I looked at them larger than R&B and especially as they came out with don't um, um don't um don't let go don't let go yeah yeah they just like felt the that hit. they they had moved away from R&B while SWV seemed to be you know you know it's like Joe to see boys to men we felt like yep yeah, SWV where you know they stayed within the hood we we could we could rock them mm. they were ours you know they were hip hop and 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 r&b whereas in vogue I, I look at them i mean you wonder if you go to an in vogue concert what the demographics would be and how the and and the, uh, right. the, the, the divide um and um yeah but I, I i would think you know how many in vogue songs would we would we could you know could you play that we would say yay I mean, the first album, great. <laughs> don't, don't, mm. don't, don't, um, don't let go. But I'm thinking, um, free your mind, um, lies. I mean, is that the first or second album? I don't know. Giving them something you can, they, they had the hits, but I think SWV, we, we, we sort of warmed to them a lot more. And I think, um, in some cases, I think they, they pull a bigger crowd now to going on concert, don't go on tour. Yeah. Well, my opinion, um, I completely disagree. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think Invoke would smash to smithereens. Smithereens, not even. S no. Yes. <laughs> SWV. And I'm going to say why. But for okay. one, we got to get the old gang back. Oh, back. you're not talking so about the first three. and foremost. Not that the three. alone. <laughs> not the three now. Ooh, not I, the that's three not Invoke. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, that's. Um, <laughs> That's not in vogue, but we get back, <laughs> we get back a uh, Dawn Maxine, sexy Maxine. She got that sexy voice. I love Maxine's voice. Um, get, um, you know, Terry and Cindy together wearing them old outfits and singing that harmony and just let them do that, giving them something he can feel. I mean, because they, this is the thing in vogue was a total package. Like they were not just vocals. They were a visual they were a visual and I like SWV, but you know, I don't know that they have the sex appeal or the performance and charisma on stage that Invoke has. Like Invoke are very polished on stage. So that's that's one thing. Like we have to go back to those performances, we have to go back to those videos and that foursome. As far as hits, they have hits. And you know, um, I think that when we actually see the old package of Invoke, hold on um you know i think lies and all of those, those songs will hit different like those when you hear those songs especially with the original girls back together um they hit different than they do now like when we see them now it's almost like a you know a broadway stage play version of what <laughs> info used to be but it's like now when you get dawn in there dawn has a certain swag on stage you know uh i mean i love swv now don't get me wrong because i really do do love swv and swv definitely had a hood you know it's kind of a boys to men versus jodeci situation where you know one kind of went into the pop, pop stratosphere 
Mm-hmm. And so they may have kind of lost touch with the core fans. Yeah. Whereas the other is still kind of stayed in that R&B pocket and delivered hits. But when we talk about those numbers, in Vogue sold 30 million records worldwide. You know, SWV sold 25 million. I mean, that's that's still close, but yeah, you know, so in Vogue has a little bit more. And in Vogue only really had two or three albums. So SWV's yeah, kind of still you know, continued it's on. third album is when... Runaway Love. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a set up when, when, when Don left and stuff. Um, yeah, um, that still went platinum, still had a couple of hits off of it. The, um, don't They added the Don't Let Go um, thing from the uh, Set It Off t- soundtrack, but whatever was also, um, it, was a, it, was a rel- it was a moderate hit. So yeah. there are yeah. some songs that, you know, people would love to hear the girls sing again, um, just had a visual. Um, but again, in Vogue is if it's if it's a versus battle where they're performing next to each other, in Vogue has they just perform better. They have a better polish, um, you know. They just have a better polish as a group, in my opinion. Um, but I do like SWV, but they you know they only have Coco really. I mean, Coco is the only one that's really holding it down for that group. Um, but I do yeah. always so that's my opinion when we talk about this. If we were to put up a vote to the community and just see what the overall overwhelming support would be whether people say yes we um you know but you have to specify original members original members is everybody was everybody has wanted that everybody's wanted the original gang to get back together remember we all remember when alicia keys had them come on i don't know what award show that was but alicia keys it had was lady of soul i think yeah, and she came on and she surprised us. And the way En Vogue came walking down those stairs, bad. <laughs> like I, I remember that. And we were so excited and we was like, oh my God, are they really getting back together? So that's a fan moment. And just like when we used to want SWV a long time to go to get back together and they've gotten back together. So mm-hmm. I think that that alone would kind of be the boost that that would kind of edge them in a yeah. win. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can, you have yeah. to see En Vogue together. They're, they're yeah. just better performers to me. Better well, harmony. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, so they are singers. But you know, when it comes to SWV, it's the music. You know, people then just remember. Mm-hmm. You know, is you know, remember the songs and. Um... Well, when we break it down, um, I'm so into you. Um, weak. You know. Um, rain. Right, right here. Yeah, rain. 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 Yeah. Um, um, Lose your heart. You're the one. You're the one. And that's it. Um, but when you go to invoke, oh no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead name some Yeah, more. no, you you should have the anything. Um, oh, let me not forget anything, anything, anything. Yeah, that's the one I like. There's anything. There is um, um. Oh, they, no, they had the one with um Diddy um, do um yeah, they had the one with Diddy. They had the one with C's. <laughs> yeah, those are kind of minor hits. I mean, that's like <laughs> me bringing up uh. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, so in, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, in Vogue has like, of course, hold on. They have given him something he can feel. Mm. Uh, was it give it up, turn it loose? I think that was a hit. Yeah, yeah. Free, um, free your mind. Runaway love was a hit. Yeah. Um, free, free your mind. mind was a big hit. Um, yeah. yeah. And they had some hits on the first album for whatever reason. It's eluding my mind now, but they had a lot of hits off that first album. That was like every single they dropped was. You don't have to worry. A, you don't have to worry. I used to love that video when I was a kid. I love that song. So, and it's just a harmony. It's like when you see that, and it, that's what happens when you. And I'm not saying that SWV is not talented, but when you put talented talent next to talent, like that's the beautiful thing that it just it, it shines through. And I think that that package, visually and mm. sonically, you know, what they what they that sound, that tone, how they blend. Mm. It's it's just a great thing you you know but like I said I mean SV it's, it's it could it can go either way though because I don't know like I said people's opinions change over time and we all love SWV we've grown to really just like really mm. have this you know love for that nostalgia of SWV mm. um, so yeah all right well guys okay. let us know what you thought in the comments section of this particular pairing um, who do you see getting it SWV um, you know the reigning champions they defeated escape last time did they win that one <laughs> they yeah uh, they, they did they so, knocked them out yeah. the park right? um, i mean knocked that wasn't hard because right? i mean i always looked at um escape as like a high school but talent no, show <laughs> but i think what <laughs> quality escape, vocal kind of group but what escape did on the night 
is that they put on the show. And then SWB they did, they did have to like, that. oh man, we need to get ourselves together. So yeah, Escape surprised a lot remember, of us. Escape, when they first came out to me, they always gave me high school talent show. Every, <laughs> I mean, they just look very amateur well, they were when they first came Chris out. Cross they've gotten Street. better. Yeah. You said yeah. why? No, because they came out with the over the baggy, baggy top, baggy yeah, trousers. Yeah, I mean, this and was stuff. very juvenile and it didn't it wasn't very polished even the songs they were singing like is my living in vain felt very high i remember in high school everybody would sing that and you know all the girls would get together and sing that song and literally sounded just like the record or better <laughs> it's like anytime an average person comes through and sing your song better than you that's not a good look so <laughs> but anyway um i am very curious to see what everybody says i'm pretty sure somebody's going to disagree with me and that's fine that's what this is about we're just having a conversation guys so let us know what you think in the comment section we love to read your comments uh catch us on the next episode yeah. thanks again for watching guys and before we go, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Yeah, and also remember to turn on the notification so you can know when we have another show. But thanks again. That, that too. <laughs> <laughs>